Hi, I'm Adam from Yoyota, and in this video, I'll show you how to copy a camera card to two hard drives. To follow along, you will need a copy of Yoyota, a camera card containing some footage, and two hard drives to copy to. Let's get started. Open Yoyota. The first thing we need to do is create a new collection and project. Click on the book icon at the bottom of the main panel. This will open the project browser. In the top left of the project browser, click Open Projects. The projects window will open. It is divided into two sections, the collections list and the project list. To create a new collection, click on the plus icon underneath the collections list. You will be prompted to name the collection and whether you want to sync it with Yoyota server. In my case, I'll call the collection Yoyota Getting Started. Leave the sync box unticked and click OK. A new collection will be created. You can think of collections as folders, so you might create a collection for a specific client and then place all the projects connected with that client in the collection. I'll highlight the Yoyota Getting Started collection in the collections list and then click the plus icon under the projects list. Yoyota will prompt me to name the new project and select a frame rate for it. In my case, I'll call the new project Copying Camera Cards. Select a frame rate of 25 FPS and click OK. A new project will be created. Close the project browser. The user interface is divided into three sections. On the left, we have the jobs list. This is where we tell Yoyota what to copy. In the middle, we have the source information table, and this gives us a quick overview of the types of files we will have in the job. To the right, we have the destinations list. This is where we tell Yoyota where we would like to copy to. Insert the camera media into the card reader. Yoyota will pop up a panel asking what you would like to do with the camera card. You can ignore it, add it as an unlocked source, or add it as a locked source. If you are offloading camera cards, you should add it as a locked source. This will prevent anything from being written to the camera media. If you are using a hard drive, you should add it as an unlocked source. This will allow Yoyota to write the index metadata back to the directory, making it quicker to index next time. In my case, I'll add it as a locked source. Yoyota will add the camera card to the jobs list and begin indexing it. Once the indexing completes, the source information table will populate and you will be able to see the types of files and their size that are on the camera media. I'll then create a new job by clicking the plus icon above the jobs list and selecting the Yo Shuttle 01 drive. Click Add Selected and a new job will be added to the jobs list. By default, it is assigned to the currently open project. To change this, highlight the job in the jobs list and then open the source browser. Click Open Projects in the top left to open the projects window. Select which collection you wish to use in the left panel and then select the project you want in the right panel. In my case, I'll select the Yoyota Getting Started collection and then create a new project called Test by clicking the plus icon. I'll select a frame rate of 25 FPS, click OK, and the currently selected job will be assigned to this project. Close the source browser. If you look in the jobs list, you will see the project name has changed to test. Each job can be assigned to a different project and opening or creating a project for a new job will not affect existing jobs. I'll delete this job by clicking the minus icon above the jobs list. To add a destination for our camera media, we need to click on the plus icon above the destination list. This will open the destination panel. Here we will see all of the drives that we have connected to the computer. In my case, I want to copy to a specific folder on Yo Shuttle 01 and Yo Shuttle 02. I'll highlight Yo Shuttle 01 and click Choose Other. A Finder browser will open at the root level of the selected drive. I'll add a new folder called Offload. Click Create and then click Add to close the Finder browser. Yoyota will add the path I selected to the destination list. I'll repeat the process to add Yo Shuttle 02 to the destination list. You can add as many copy destinations as you like. 
Yoyota will read the source file once and copy it to multiple destinations without the source bandwidth increasing. For instance, if you have a source drive that could read at 500 megabytes a second and four destination drives that write at 500 megabytes a second, Yoyota will write to all four drives at 500 megabytes per second. With my destination set up, I am ready to start copying. Press the green button at the top of the main panel to start the copy. Yoyota will begin copying the camera card and you will see a progress bar in the destination list showing the number of items and the size left to copy. In the jobs list, you will also see a progress bar with an estimated time remaining. Whilst copying, Yoyota will create MD5 and XX hash checksums for every file. During the verify, Yoyota will read back every file from each destination drive and compare them against the source checksums. It is possible to disable this by selecting Quick Verify. However, we recommend the default full verification so that you can be guaranteed that all your files are copied correctly. Once the copy completes, Yoyota will place a green tick by the job in the jobs list, along with a green tick in the destination list by each copy destination. Beneath this will be a smaller green tick, along with a note telling you the total number of files that were copied and verified. Yoyota will also generate a PDF report and save it to a folder on your desktop called Yoyota underscore reports. And there you have it, how to copy a camera card to two hard drives using Yoyota.